Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Open Potato. Today we are having a wee look and a little playthrough of a game called Kingdom. Now, the best way to describe this game is probably a 2D investment business strategy combat simulation extravaganza. It is quite an interesting uh, quite an interesting title and something that I look forward to playing through and uh, and showing you guys something that is important to note I actually got this this game free of charge from the developer so I don't know if that's gonna make me sound like a bad person but uh, yeah they were they were kind enough to give a small channel like mine a, uh, a copy so basically we just control the king uh, in this case a king who is on his little horse with his little green cape and we use the uh, left and the right mouse keys that's that's pretty much it we can pick up some coins and then we've got numerous uh, things around our base that we can invest in let's uh, let's light the fire so that we can establish our little kingdom and uh, let's get our little archery man and we've also got a hammer man over here now basically we press the down button and that drops coins and whenever we drop a coin near a person we recruit them we can also invest coins in numerous things around the base so i want to take it quite slow so i'm going to inv invest in some walls uh, and i'm going to invest in a wall at the other side of the base and i'm going to invest in a hammer now as you can imagine a hammer allows dudes to build stuff and building stuff means that we can be nicely defended. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's a good way of saying it. Absolutely. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, anyway, he is going to go to town. As we can see, he is going to boot up a nice little, uh, nice little defense for us. There, we've got some spiky walls that will defend us against the creatures of the night. Indeed, we are up against creatures of the night. And we shall see them in, uh, in, in due course. Uh, let's also get an archer. Well... I say, uh, let's get a bow. You can see that bow is just being made over there. And hopefully our other recruit will come and pick it up. And he will be an archer from here on in. Now, let us take a little stroll across. As you can see, there's a couple more things that we can invest in. There is a tree over here that we can cut down as well. There's a couple more recruits, possible recruits over there. Oh, I don't want to go this way. I don't want to go. Be I don't want to be going that way. I don't want to be going into a forest. No, thank you. No, siree. No, siree. Um, but yeah, occasionally archers will take pot shots at rabbits, and when they do, we get a coin. And if they get coins when uh, we are not around, then they just pick them up. They're very honest about it. We walk over them, they drop it. Pretty simple, pretty simple. Now we've got three coins, which is uh, something that I'm very, very happy about. Oh, goodness me. Why am I running? How did I do that? I, I have no idea how I did that, but uh, it's impressive that I did do that. But anyway, yeah, we don't want to stray too, too, too far from the base because night will be coming. I think tomorrow is going to be a day of investing in archers, right? I think tomorrow we're going to, we're going to try and get an archer, another archer, a second archer. We don't want to construct the bow now because the nature of the enemies that come in the night, uh, they're, they're fairly, they're fairly picky in, uh, in what they take. And they take only the things that are actually valuable to us, right? So they take money, they take hammers, they take bows. They're annoying as shit, and uh, I really don't want to, to die. But we've got defenses, so hopefully we will be in a position where we can... Oh, thank you very much, I really appreciate that. Hopefully we can be in a position where we, uh, where we manage to defend the base, and hopefully I can get you guys a little look at what one of these evil, evil creatures of the night looks like. Also, I really like how there's a river right next to where we are, or a lake or whatever, and uh, we can see our own reflection. I think that's fairly, fairly cool. But yeah, it's a really, really nice little game, isn't it? I mean, the pixel the pixel art is, is top-notch. Oh, look, here we go. We're seeing a, a little invasion, and our archer doesn't want to respond to it. Okay, that's, that's fine. Um, if he gets in, he's going to do some damage. It's not the end of the world, though. Oh, no, hammer, dude. No, 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 no. Don't go walk over there. There's literally an enemy that's about to break through. Day two. Day two. We're into the second day. And we managed to repel him. Oh, he's coming through. He's coming through. He's coming through. 
Archer. 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 You... There we go. Okay, great. Thank God. So if he'd managed to take that hammer, then he would have been able to run away with it, which is really annoying. Um, but he didn't, so that's fine. So basically, we get a little bit more gold for surviving the night, and we can also upgrade the keep, the the fire, and uh, and get uh, and get a real big uh, shindig going on, basically. And that's something that I look forward to uh, trying to make happen. Oh, phenomenal! Wow, you are on fire, Archer! Holy cow! Look at our money bag in the top corner. That is that is quite amazing. I'll take one of you guys, okay? We're going to try and get one builder, two archers. Now, something that I'm, I'm, I want to focus on today is getting some towers for the archer. Oh, goodness me, you are, you are a star shot. You are really very, very good. So, what we can do is we can get the builder to build us some towers for the archers to stand up on, basically. And, oh, there we go. And we're also going to need to upgrade that again. So... We're down a little bit in cash, but it's okay. We are not disheartened in the slightest. We are uh, we are doing a okay. Bum -bum. I like the little uh, the little sound effects as well. Very very cute. Very very nice. Very very nice indeed. So when do I run? Because I seem to I seemingly run sometimes. Like that's kind of nice. Oh my god, dude! You are you're fucking on fire! Holy shit balls! You you deserve a pro oh my. God, I cannot say it enough. You know what? I think that's enough to warrant upgrading our fire. Bamo! Holy shit, we got a flag now, bitches. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. You know what? Oh my. I think because our archer... Oh, crap. Because our archer is actually doing such an amazing job of shooting all of these fucking rabbits. I think we're actually going to upgrade both of our walls. I think that would, uh, that would seem like a totally uh, rational thing to do. Because, you know, there's no point in expanding just quite yet. I mean, we might as well uh, play it safe. Obviously, there are a couple more points up here that we could expand to. For example, a wall down there and an archery point up here. So, we will be looking to do that, but not today, I don't think. Not today, friends. Not today. Oh, yeah. Oh, some cash, 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 cash. Oh, my God, you got four coins. You're insane. You're so good. You're the MVP. You are you are the, the hero of the castle. Fingers crossed. Uh, I'd like it if you got up on your little tower now so we would able we were able to take out uh, the enemies as they came at us. Also, I really want to upgrade this uh, this keep, but uh, you know what? I'm I'm not going to do that quite yet. So if you chill over here, archer, that would be very very nice indeed. And then we've already got this archer in the tower over here. That is great to see. And we've just finished the upgrade on the wall, which means that we are going to be defended from both sides fairly well, I think. So honestly, I feel much more comfortable about our situation right now than I did on the first night, even though, uh, yeah, you know, I, even even though on the first night there was only one dude, I still feel more comfortable at our position about our position right now. So bring it on, dudes, bring it on. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Archer is going to engage. No, do not shoot the rabbits. Please do not shoot the rabbits. Holy shit. Are they actually going to break through? Are you kidding me? Well, you're great at shooting rabbits, but you seem fucking atro... Jesus Christ. They're going to break through. They're going to break through. Okay, you got one of them? Come on. One more. One more. One more. One more. Come on. Come on. Are you kidding me? Are you, sh are you literally shitting me? For real? Right now? Please, God, no. You shut the fucking trap! Oh, oh, thank God. Oh, lordy. Whew. This game is stressful, man. This game is stressful. I mean, you're great at shooting rabbits. Like, I'll give you that. But you're not very good at shooting literally the only thing that matters. Oh, we can upgrade our flag as well. I don't really know what that does. Oh, monies. Monies, please. I want all of the monies. All right. Um, We're going to go on. Uh, I didn't even check to see what was happening at this side. Holy cow. Uh, we're going to go on a little recruiting drive, see if we can uh, perhaps recruit another dude. In fact, you know what? Screw it. Let's recruit two dudes. See if that's, uh, see if this allows us to be a little bit more defensible. Once again, I am going to go for the archers. I'm going to focus on making sure that we get two bows for the new recruits. 
We don't really need more than one builder at the moment. I think, you know, that one builder is doing fine. Our walls seem to hold fairly well. Not really too, too worried about it, actually. Um, let's upgrade one of these towers. I don't really know what it's going to do. I don't know if it's going to be beneficial, but hey-ho, we're going to do it. Also, the flag. What will this do? I don't know what it does. I don't know what the flag does. Interesting. Interesting, I have literally no clue. How much money have you got for me, Archer? How much money? Four? Four coins? Oh my god, you do as well. No, in fact, you got five coins. Holy hell balls. You are just making ends meet right now. That is crazy. That'll probably be enough to... Perfect. Exactly enough to upgrade our camp to the next level. Get on my level, son. We are looking good. And that should allow us to do some more upgrades, I think. I'm not entirely sure what uh, what upgrading the camp does, but I know it makes it look like literally 110% more badass. Guaranteed. Oh, we got a farmer as well now. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Okay, we need to get this archery post up. Uh, because if we've got a farmer, we we probably want to keep this farmer around. Yeah, we, we probably don't want him to die. Yeah. Okay, uh, I did not envision that being a thing that we would have to worry about. Fingers crossed we'll be able, we'll be able to get this uh, archery tower up and this wall up before the farmer is, uh, is even threatened slightly. Okay, the archer is quite comfortable over there. And can we... Oh, what the hell did I do that for? That was really weird. Uh, are you serious? Come on, let me upgrade this wall, please. There we go. There we go. You upgrade the wall. Fingers crossed nobody comes this way. Fingers crossed. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Looks like we will have an archer in the tower ready to defend at a moment's notice. That's good. It's good to see. Oh, no. Come on. Finish the wall. Finish the wall. Are you kidding me? Finish the wall. Finish the wall. Hero builder. Hero builder. Oh, it's okay. The hero archer is uh, is making sure that the builder can get enough time to finish the wall. Jeez, Louise. That was close. That was close. It was close. But you know what? We are slowly expanding our base, and that is exactly what we like to see. So I'm still not entirely sure what the flag does, but seven coins to upgrade the uh, upgrade the the campfire. Oh, and you, of course, of course, you're like our, our hero archer. You are doing a fairly, fairly good job. Of, uh, of collecting cash over time. And let's open the chest up. Get a little bit more uh, pocket change. As they say. And Farmer Joe. That's what your name is going to be from, from here on in. Farmer Joe, what are you doing? Can we chop this tree down? There we go. Chop the tree down. And let's also... Let's let's get another recruit. Just one though. Just one today, please. That would be uh, more than fine. That tree is scheduled for uh, demolition. And let's uh, you know what? Let's let's take a risk. Let's invest our cash in the farmer. So I presume that is that means that we're going to that means we get a hoe. Okay. So we're actually going to have a farmer rather than we're going to have a dedicated village farmer. Well, okay, I guess it was a good job that we uh, actually managed to get that recruit on board. Holy cow, thank you very much, Archer. You are you are really going to town on this. Oh, by the way, this game apparently has an end condition. Like, there's apparently a way that you can win it. I, uh, I, I don't know how. Uh, it didn't tell me in the briefing document that I got uh, when I asked for the code. But apparently there's a way to win it. And also, this music. It's perfect, isn't it? It's absolutely perfect. Do I have enough cash to upgrade the keep? No, I do not. Unfortunately, I do not. I'm one gold short. So, I don't I don't think I actually want to invest in the keep quite yet. Oh. Thank you. We managed to chop down that tree. Now, I presume if we chop down trees, that allows us to expand. And you, you just went away. Okay. You want a job? Have a job. Welcome to the team. Welcome on board. Welcome, welcome, one and all. Where's the farmer gone? Is, what's he doing? What's he doing for us? I don't understand what he's doing for us. For us, like, I, I, like, is he farming? 
I'm really not entirely sure, I'm afraid, to, to report. But, you know, this is one of those games that I feel there is such a, a mood of exploration and experimentation and just not knowing what's going to happen. And I think that's that's really, really quite nice, actually. Um, can we upgrade these archery towers by any chance? No, I think we might need to upgrade the fire a little bit more before we can upgrade some other stuff. So I think as we progress, we need to upgrade, obviously, the fire to get access to more upgrades. I think that's how it works. I'm not entirely sure. I think. I think. But I don't really know. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I don't really think there's anything that we super desperately need to spend this gold on. Perhaps a bow. That's about it, though. Um, so that our new recruit can get a bow, obviously. But apart from that, I don't really think there is too, too much else that we need to spend any of our cash on. I mean, we've not got that much gold. I think it's about five nuggets, give or take. And I upgraded the flag, but I don't know what upgrading the flag actually did. Hmm. No matter. No matter. We are we're in a good position. We're in a good position. An interesting position. And we're ready to engage the enemy should they come at me, bro, so to speak. And I think we're going to be fine. I really don't know what this farmer is doing. It seems that he's not doing very much at the moment, to be honest. All right, good. We've got two archers over here. We should, uh, yeah, we're, we're very well equipped to take these guys down. Very well equipped. Although they are doing damage to our walls, which is not great. Also, is this a farm out here? I don't really know. I do not know, I'm afraid. I do not know. Now, where on earth is the moon? Is this night going to go on forever? No. The night has ended. That is good to see. That is very, very good to see indeed. Day 5, progressing in. I think, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to finish up this episode there. My name, of course, has been Robert Potato. Hopefully you've enjoyed uh, this first episode in a rather impromptu series of Kingdom. Um, but hopefully you'll tune in next time because we're going to continue this game and, uh, fingers crossed, try and win it, however, however that may be. So uh, tune in then. My name is Robert Potato. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.